Hey you guys, it's me, Ashley, and Happy New Year! Oh my god, I cannot believe it is 2018 already. It seems like it was 2017 just yesterday. <laughs> this is going to be a collab with my friend Krista Bertner, and we've come full circle because our first video of the year last year was a New Year's resolution video, and it was a collab also with Krista Bertner. So that's pretty exciting. So if you haven't checked out her channel, go right on ahead. It will be linked in the description box. It will also be linked at the end of this video. So if you guys want to see some of my top favorites for the year of 2017, then just keep watching. Okay, so some of the products may not, I may not have them. I'm just going to show pictures. They'll be over here somewhere. And that would probably either mean that I have run out or it would just be more convenient for me to just show you a picture than actually show you the product because my last favorites video I had some shampoos and some um, body things and since they were in my shower they were full of water and I ended up pulling, pouring water all over myself so we're not gonna do that again so to start off the video I think I want to talk about my favorite foundations of the year and the first one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and this you guys was like a holy grail for me for the longest longest time I only used this nothing else if I was wearing foundation it was this one but I've come to find a new one that I actually really enjoy and it's a part of my project pan and that is the Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear this one is a really amazing it's it's really skin like and I put it on it just is so easy to blend out and it looks so good on my face I really really love that one a drugstore foundation that I absolutely loved this year and still loving now is the covergirl healthy elixir foundation now that foundation is beautiful I absolutely adored that one I know it got some mixed reviews but it was so good it is so good moving along so I have a couple of favorite brushes that I want to talk to you guys about these brushes have been like my ride or die since I've had them I absolutely love them I use them almost every single day so the first one I'm going to show you guys is the MAC 286. It is a dual fiber blending brush and it's so good in the crease. It deposits color like perfectly where you want it to be, exactly where you move the brush, but it also blends it out really, really beautifully without over blending if that makes sense. It's not like another favorite of mine, the MAC 224, that will blend it all the way out. This one will actually leave color where you placed it this one this one <laughs> will leave color where you placed it but it will actually still blend out the edges and it's just so pretty and these two together are amazing a favorite foundation brush of mine that is dirty is the it cosmetics heavenly skin foundation I use this every single day I haven't even touched a beauty blender in probably a month if not more than that because I've been using this brush and I've also been using this one which is the Sigma 4d HD kabuki it's actually a super weird shape but it's a really awesome brush. I use it to blend out my concealer and then to use, if I use cream contour, I use this as well. It's really perfect for getting in those hard to reach areas, as you can see. It's a beautiful brush. A brush that I can't seem to find right now that I absolutely love for like applying my powder all over my face and just using a powder foundation or whatever is the Koki Cosmetics Kabuki brush. It is the big one. I did a video, it'll be linked up here, that compares it to the Tarte brush of the same type, I guess. My favorite brow product of the year is the ABH Brow Pomade. I've bounced back and forth between colors depending upon the shade of my hair or where my roots are at the moment, you know, things like that right now. I'm absolutely loving soft brown and this is what my pot looks like right now. I'm trying my best to keep it as neat as possible and just like kind of like go in a line, but I dug my, my fingernail into it and it kind of annoys me, but I love these. They're so good and they just, they look so natural when they're dry and I hate to say that, you know, they're not really natural, but they look so natural that my husband the other day was talking about some girl that drew her eyebrows on and I'm just like, like, do you think these are natural? I was like, I draw my eyebrows on. He's like, no, you don't, but I do and I had to show him and now he knows my secret. 
<laughs> so backtracking a little bit to moisturizers, I absolutely adore the confidence in a cream and the confidence in an eye cream moisturizers. These are literally my third pots of both. I use these every single day whether I put makeup on or not and they're so creamy and work so well. I have super dry under eyes so I always have to put moisturizers under my eyes and one that I've recently discovered is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream which is also by It Cosmetics and it's a blue cream. It's kind of like a gel moisturizer is what it seems like anyway and it's just it's really creamy and it's really good and these have saved my under eyes from looking like alligator eyes, alligator skin. Okay, so I have tons of shadows that I absolutely love, but the ones that take the trophy for my absolute favorite lid shadows are the Stila Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metals Eyeshadows. I think I said that backwards, but I absolutely love these. I have almost every single color. My new ones recently, I'm absolutely loving the Shimmer and Glow Magnificent Metals. I'm wearing Cloud on my lid today, and that's this one here. These are amazing. I got the little, like, I guess, I don't want to say sample, because they're not technically samples. Here, let me show you. It came packaged like this, and it has three of the glitter and glow, and then three of the shimmer and glows, and I have been wearing Kitten and Grace, which are the two here. Kitten, the more pink one, and then Grace is more of like a brown tone color. They're really not that different, but they are different, you know? And I absolutely love them. They are beautiful. They're so much less work, and they just go on. They don't crease. They're so beautiful. If you guys haven't tried any of these, you guys should. Oh, I couldn't rave about them anymore. They are amazing, you guys. Some more shadows that I've been loving this year. I bet you can't tell which one's my favorite. <laughs> is this one here. This one is ABH and it is the color Warm Taupe. I use this every day in my crease no matter what, no matter what palette, no matter what shadows, no matter if I'm not doing anything to my eyes but eyeliner or nothing at all. If I have makeup on, this shade is in my crease. And this is Noir by ABH as well. And then this one I think is Smoke. Yep, by ABH. Those three ABH shadows are my like ride or dies. If I just need a quick look like those three are what I go for. My newer favorite colors though, some that have just been recently added to my collection are Max Nylon and then this one is... That's one gripe I have about those. The magnets on them are horrible. So this is Shroom and I really love it too. I like Shroom for all over my lid and I love nylon as the inner corner and brow bone highlight. I've been wearing them almost every day since I got them. I didn't today because I went for like the ethereal purple look but I really love those shades as well. Moving on, I forgot a brush. I don't know how I forgot it. It is the ABH highlighting brush, the A23 and then also the ABH 7B. These two are my favorite highlight brow. Boom. So another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was my favorite concealer of the year, which is probably everyone's favorite concealer of the year. It is the Tarte Shape Tape. I love this concealer. You know I tried the Urban Decay, the new concealer by then, the All Nighter. It will be linked up here in my review of it. And I thought that was going to be a new favorite of mine. But when I realized for sure this was my holy grail is when I was kind of in a pinch. I was trying to get ready for work and I kind of you know, dilly-dallied around and ran out of time. And I needed something that was gonna look good and go fast and just be super convenient for me. I'm getting ready and I'm, I'm on to concealer and without a thought, I reached down and grabbed the Shape Tape. After I'd been using the Urban Decay one for a good two weeks, I used the Shape Tape and after that, I haven't, I've been using it consistently since then. So I know this is my ride or die. I love it. What do you guys think? What's your Holy Grail concealer? So my favorite liners of the year, number one will be the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the color Blacker. Mine is empty, so it will be featured in an upcoming empties video. Makes me so sad. I absolutely love this eyeliner. Also, the Scandalized by Rimmel in Black. 001 is amazing. It is so creamy and it goes on the waterline so easily. I always use this one if I'm not using the blacker, which I'm not right now because it's out. So this is my favorite. This one has been a favorite of mine since I was like 15 years old or since I was allowed to wear makeup. This has been a staple of my collection. I've always had to have the Rimmel Scandalized. It's like the best eyeliner at the drugstore. A lot of them are like you have to really build them up 
not this one. I've always, always loved this liner. So a couple of powders that I've absolutely loved this year is the Candy Johnson by in Too Faced Banana Powder, Banana Pudding Powder. It looks like this. It is great for under my eyes. It smells so good. It's not super scented, but it's scented enough to where it's pleasant to smell, but it's not overbearing, if that makes sense. Two powder foundations that I've been loving are the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. This is the color Linen, number 14, Neutral Linen. And then I have the two, number 240 Bisque Perfection Powder by Marc Jacobs. I found this at TJ Maxx, you guys. It was like $12, so. So I have some highlighters that I wanna talk about. Number one would be the ABH Glow Kit, the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I love this. I I just love this. And then I also have these two by Fenty Beauty, which you can tell have been really loved on. This one especially. This one is Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, and this is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. They're beautiful. So my favorite lashes are from Velour Lashes, and in particular, the lie detector lashes and the fluff and dolled up i'm not wearing them today these are actually samantha by huda beauty moving on from makeup i have a couple of <laughs> objects that i really like <laughs> so number one would be this tweezer man tweezer duo they're super small tweezers and one pair comes to a super sharp point like you guys i dropped these and they literally stuck into the linoleum that's in my laundry room. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Like they stuck straight up like this. That's how sharp they are. They are intense. And then the other ones are just like your basic slanted tweezer. I have a backup duo because I have to have these. And once they go dull, they're not as good anymore. But if you haven't tried them, they sell them at Walgreens and CVS. They're so hard to find though. So when I see them, I snap them up like right then. Just to have that backup, you know. The Lala Fox. Uh, exfoliating pads <laughs> I really love those they come in a pack of 10 they look like this I did a whole review on them it will also be up there and I use them every other day I'm out currently I need to go get some more thankfully my Walmart keeps them in stock I've heard from a few people that they aren't able to find them but I'm just thankful that my Walmart keeps them in stock so, because they are awesome and now moving on to the last but least not least products are my two favorite perfumes for the year one is the viva la juicy rose i think is what it is this bottle's so pretty too you guys i love this and it's empty well it's got like no it's empty <laughs> i need to get a refill because this is like my scent it's like a super sweet candy like smell it is such a beautiful bottle i wish I, it wasn't empty but look at the bottle like look at the little cute rose bottle and then last is a new discovery. It's Gucci Bloom. I actually watched a YouTube video a few months ago and they were talking about it. And I, they said it smelled like honeysuckle. So I ran to Sephora that week. I had to smell it. It really does. And it's still got that sweet scent along with the florally scent. So yum. It is so good. And my husband likes it. So, okay, you guys, that is most of my favorites for the year of 2017. I know I'm probably leaving something out, but this is gonna have to do it for now. <laughs> what are your favorites for 2017? What can you not wait to try for 2018? Do you think that anything's gonna get replaced? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to go over to Chris's channel and watch her favorites and see what her favorites of the year of 2017 were. I hope you guys enjoy her videos as much as I do. And yay for us for making it this fall. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. They will all be linked down below as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe with your notifications on so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.